Okay, this video is going to cover something that's a little bit off topic, but then it's going to get back to soap operas, and I'll, end it, I'll explain why. Um, okay, I was on Amazon Prime looking for something to watch, and uh, I came across a movie called A Girl Like Her. Um, it was filmed in 2015, and I think it was basically made for TV, you know. Um, it stars Lexi Ainsworth, who played Christina on General Hospital, and Hunter King, who played the younger Summer on YR before Allison Lanier took over. Um, okay. So, we have two girls who uh, are not friends, who the main girl um, plays by Lexi. Uh, Jessica um, is the one bullied and basically a spoiler alert if you haven't watched it um, uh, she dies in the movie but they wait until the last minute it's not like they kill her okay um, and then Hunter King plays another girl um uh, who, who's the bully um, and she doesn't have like from the looks of her you would think she has a lot of friends and she does but it comes out later that she only like they're only shopping buddies and they only like her for her money apparently and her mother doesn't really talk to her she just tells her what to do and her father is kind of like more easygoing and telling her, telling the mother, leave her alone, you know, kind of, um, don't, don't grill her so much. So, okay. The Lexi's character, she, um, which, I don't know, I kind of, I like the film and I don't like the film in certain ways because they don't shy away from the scene. They do the scene right away. So they kind of go backwards. They go from the end point to how it all started, right? So, okay. Um, she is bullied in school a lot. Um, and... She can't take anymore, and she has a best friend, Brian, but she doesn't tell anybody else about it because it, it, it's also widely known that if you tell on a bully, it only makes your life harder. So she doesn't tell anybody. And uh, then she can't take it anymore, and, you know, the end of all happens. But... Um, at first, Hunter King's character acts like, what did I do? I didn't do anything. I didn't force her any, into any situations. You know, what are you talking about? And, um, and then finally, at the end of the movie, like the end scene, before, um, because the main character is in a coma. Um... And um, a Hunter King's character goes to the hospital because they tell her that, you know, you can talk to her and she'll hear you kind of, right? So, okay. She says, hi, I'm so-and-so. You know her name. I didn't know you, but uh, I'm sorry for what I did kind of a thing. And, um, and then after that, she says, hi, my name is, um, let's say Abigail, you know, um, I, I'm a bully, um, and that's how they end the movie. Now, uh, I don't know the real, this is all based on a real story, obviously, but I don't know what really happened to Jessica and the rest of the kids in the movie, so I don't know, um like present day but um i think i don't know 
it's a good movie in the fact that it highlights uh, bullying, teenage bullying, but it also highlights in a bad way that parents and teachers think they know what's going on and they don't have a clue. Um, but if you take it from the acting standpoint only, um, Lexi Ainsworth and Hunter King both do a good job because... First of all, you you uh, believe that Lexi is innocent and kind of vulnerable, but happy go lucky. She just wants to make friends, kind of a thing. And but then Hunter King's character, um, you believe that she's tough and everything at first, and then it takes the whole movie to break the facade, and then she cries like. She cries on cue, and she cries like when someone tells you someone died, that kind of a cry. So, I believe if she wanted to use a movie, if they both wanted to use a movie to show their range, I would say they succeeded in that part. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Some other little facts about each person. Um... Lexi Ainsworth has a, a degree in acting, and she went to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in London, and she's accredited in Shakespeare acting. So that's huge. Um, Hunter King has done a lot of movies. After, I think, she did some stuff before, but after 2015... I think when she decided to leave uh, YNR, her acting career took off. Her IMDb, as far as movies, is like at least six or seven. And you have to understand, she's not even 30. So, for me, that's huge. Um, yeah. So, like I said, um, if you just want something to watch, it's cool. If you want something with, like, meat on it, there's not that much stuff to it, but I mean, you know, whatever. Um, all right. Bye, guys.